Hello to my dear, dear friends. How are you? You have not heard from me in a long time, and that is just not fair to you, is it? Because you expect to see me, and you expect to see Micah. I am currently in Texas with Bronson. We are at my mother's house, and we came here to help her put in a self-watering system in her yard. And we got a little bit done yesterday, and then I had to have a break. And then we ended up going to eat, and then we came back home, <clears throat> and then it was kind of late, so we didn't we didn't do any more yesterday in the yard. <clears throat> There's a lot to do. She's got these, uh, uh, what do you call those, those um, plant, sorry, I've got a, got a cup of coffee in my hand. It's instant coffee, by the way. I had bought some, mom does not like the smell of coffee, and she does not drink coffee. So I bought some instant coffee, maybe the last time or the time before last, it's the, the nasty uh, instant coffee. I got it from the dollar store. And I did not drink any coffee or any tea that had caffeine in it yesterday. I'm not feeling very well. <clears throat> Started not feeling well yesterday afternoon. I feel like I have the flu all over. Like I, um, I ache all over. I woke up during the night, felt like I had fever. I don't know if I did or not, but I ran downstairs, grabbed some Tylenol out of my purse that I had brought and I don't feel like I have fever right now, but I still feel achy all over. I don't feel very well, and I keep coughing. Like, I can't stop coughing. I have a pocket full of cough drops right now. And uh, so anyway, that's the story on the coffee. So Mom has these plant beds that Dad made, uh, you know, wooden wooden plant beds out back. She's got a whole bunch of them, and they all have to be weeded out before we put this watering system in. And there's this this low to the ground. There aren't there aren't any around where I'm at, or I would show you. But there's this uh, this low to the ground because I'm I'm not actually on the side of the yard where those where those flower beds are. They're they're low to the ground. They're little green, little short green um, plants, and they're ivies, and they grow all through the dirt, all through the soil. There was a a teacher that my kids had in elementary school. I can't think of her name, but you're not allowed to say dirt. It's always soil. So we're always correcting ourselves to each other and to ourselves about dirt versus oil, uh, soil because it's soil, not dirt. I'm not sure what dirt is, but it's not dirt that you plant uh, plants in. So anyway, that's just kind of a kind of a funny thing in our house about soil versus dirt. So in the soil outside. So we're having to, to dig the, um, so mom was cutting down the blueberry, blueberry uh, vines, not blueberry, blackberry vines, and then Bronson was putting them into a barrel, and then he was also helping me get these, get these uh, weeds out, but the roots grow all the way through in there, so you kind of have to, to dig them up using a spade or one of those little rakes those little short rakes, you know, the short spades and the short rakes that you use for gardening. So we were using both of those. So anyway, the first one was super easy to do. And then I get to the second one. I don't think the second one's even halfway done and they're all over the yard. I don't know how we're going to get these done. So maybe I'll feel good enough to go out at least for a little bit later today. I'm not sure. Um, it rained last night. I don't know if you can hear the water. You can't see it, but there's water coming down the, <clears throat> coming down the, um, the, uh, that coming down the gutter. And, uh, so Goober is, is a little, uh, is a little mini pincher that mom has right there. We call, they call him the cookie sheet dog. Somebody had run over him and a neighbor picked him up, put him on a, sh on a cookie sheet years ago and brought him to the front door of mom and dad's. Somehow, it, somehow, <clears throat> whoever it was knew that mom and dad would take care of him. And sure enough, they did. And he's just, wonderful. He used to have my dad, my dad's passed away, but he used to have my dad wrapped around his little finger. So I let him outside to go to the bathroom and he didn't want to stay. And I'm like, you just went out there and went to the bathroom and you need to go outside. So I pulled out a chair and I'm sitting outside and I saw a comment. I know you guys are all wanting to know where I'm at. Somebody wanted to know where I am. Frederick, I think, asked me where I was. Others have asked me where I am. Well, I'm right here and I'm fine. I've just been really lazy with YouTube, <coughs> excuse me, and I have not been putting anything up. Um, I am getting ready 
I, I am not at liberty to talk about it, and I don't know what happens if I talk, but I can't talk about a surgery that I'm about to happen. There's a lawyer involved with it, but I am getting ready to do that as soon as I get back to town on Monday. So I'll probably be out just a little while with that. I don't anticipate being out forever with it. Um, and then as soon, I plan on, on videoing and documenting, and then as soon as I'm at liberty, then I'll, I'll tell you all about it and give you all the details. And I've actually looked up this specific thing on YouTube to find out, you know, how people recovered and how it was, etc. So, uh, I'm hoping that it's successful. I guess we're just not going to know until we actually do it. Um, I'm dying to tell you everything about it, but I just can't right now. But that's kind of what's going on right now. So that's going to kind of postpone things for just a little bit. Um, Mike is doing fine. And I know I've been asked the question several times when I go out of town, who takes care of Micah? Micah just gets taken care of by CNAs. They come in the morning, they get her out of bed, they send her on her way to her day program. They come in the afternoon, they get her off the van, <clears throat> take her to the bathroom, feed her a snack, put her in her stander, do range of motion. She eats dinner at 5.30, and then at 6 o'clock, another CNA comes, and they give her a bath. They do range of motion again. She gets range of motion in the morning, afternoon, and in the evening after her shower. So she'll go to the bathroom at 6, get her shower, get range of motion again. She doesn't do the stander again. She's so tired by about 6 o'clock that uh, we don't do the stander. We only do it once a day. We used to do it more often. Sometimes we can get the stander in in the morning and in the afternoon, but at nighttime she's just too tired, so we don't do it at nighttime. Um, so Mike is doing well. I've been talking to her on the phone. Deb called on Monday night, so we just got here on Monday night the 11th. We got here about 12.30 a.m. We were going to leave early in the morning, but because this surgery was so fast, they just called me, boom. I went to the surgeon on Thursday, Friday afternoon. They called me, gave me a date, and so I just took it because if I didn't take it, I was going to have to wait a month. We might as well do it now as opposed to later, and the sooner I get better, the sooner we can, you know, go on and do other things. I've got things on the calendar I need to do and was hoping we could work it all around the surgery, and it looks like it's just going to work out fantastic. Um... So, uh, let's see, what else is going on? Bronson is with me on his spring break, so Bronson's here. I think Bronson's having a good time. Aunt June, we saw Aunt June. Oh, oh, to go back on why we didn't leave so early in the morning, because they, uh, surgery was so soon, I had to, I have to go to a, a pre-op physical. So, I went to a physical on Monday morning. See, this is m Friday afternoon when they called me. So I got in on, thankfully, I was able to get in on Monday morning to go to the pre-op visit. And then we left after that, so we didn't get out of there until after 11.30. And uh, it's like 12 hours to get here. So we got here at 12.30 a.m. We stopped in Oklahoma City to see Aunt June. Aunt June, I don't know if you guys know her. I'm trying to remember if she's been on a video or not. But we usually stop through there either once or both times. I was planning on stopping both times. And uh, so we did get to stop by there. Aunt June had a heart attack on Saturday night, and I'm very, very sad. I hope that she's okay. They did a heart catheter. They didn't find anything. Her lungs are fine. She's still in the hospital. She's not feeling very good. Uh, but we went by to see her, and Deb happened to call me Monday night while we were in there with Aunt June. So she got to talk to Micah, and uh, they were both just laughing. And so that was really nice to see Aunt June laugh and to hear Micah laughing and Micah was doing really well, and then William called last night and had me on speakerphone with Micah, so Micah seems like she's doing fine, and uh, let's see, what else is news? I'm trying to think what's happened since the last time I talked to you. Probably not too much. Since I've been trying to, to get to the right doctor to find out what was wrong with me, um, they've, they've uh, agitated my pain just a bit, actually quite a bit, so I've been down more. Um, I wasn't sure about making this trip, but I've done okay, except now, you know, I kind of feel like I have the flu all over, but maybe it won't last very long. And, uh, I can't be sick when I go back, right? We have to, we have to get busy and get this surgery done. 
So, you hear those birds? Isn't that so cool? I love being outside and hearing hearing birds. It's not like that where I live. You know, like there, there are houses here, but I can't see them. And there, there's like a distance between them. We live in a neighborhood. So you look out any window and you can see a house just, you know, within feet of you. So I couldn't sit outside at my house, not see anything and just hear the birds. So this is really cool. And it feels nice and cool out here. I think it's 52, I think is what I just saw on the, on the temperature thing before I got on here. But anyway, all is well, and when I get home, I know that I need to get Micah on here to see you. But right now, you have to just look at me, as terrible as I look. Like, I look terrible. I washed my hair last night, and uh, this is what I look like. So anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Say hello, and I promise I'll answer your comments. I haven't been answering comments. Like, I've just not been doing my job as a YouTuber, and my apologies to you. But all is well, and we will see you again soon. I promise. And you take care. Say hello. I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help, for my help cometh from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.